welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome thank you so much for joining me my name is Trish I am an ambulatory wheelchair user and I use this channel to share my day-to-day -day life is like we are on a road trip right now and today we are headed to Kentucky Kingdom that is in Louisville Kentucky and I want to give them a big thank you for having us out they have given us tickets to explore the park and so I can share what it's like visiting their park as a wheelchair user with all of you. As always, all the opinions will be mine and I know we're gonna have a great time. This amusement park looks really unique and it also kind of has a backstory of, you know, being closed and then reopened and it looks like, just from pictures I've seen online, like they take really great care of the park. So I really can't wait to go see it. One thing that stood out to me is according to their website, wheelchair users don't need a disability pass. They can just go to the accessible entrance. And that makes the park very attractive to me because I always thought it was a bit silly that you have to get a disability pass when you have the wheelchair to show why you need that exit. Like, because usually the exits are the only accessible part of the line. So, um, I'm excited about that. And I'm just excited to go have a great day. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am putting this video out first, but we have done so many great things on this road trip. And I can't wait to share them all with you. We are almost there, I can see the rides. It's so exciting. It is about 10 minutes to 10, so they aren't open yet, but they did let us into part of the park. early but I am shocked at how dead it is and I'm very excited because that means we shouldn't have a lot of wait time. My first impressions are that this park is very clean and very well maintained. I love it. All right, we are coming up to where you can buy cinnamon bread. We're not gonna get any just yet, but I heard it's similar to the one they have at Dollywood. This park has so many places to get drinks and they're all open, which is awesome. I cannot get over how cute the Kitty Land rides are. My daughter doesn't even usually like Kitty Land anymore, but she is loving it here. Oh, 
this might be the most unique carousel I've ever seen. It's awesome. The rides here are just so unique. I am so glad we got a chance to come check out Kentucky Kingdom. about 45 minutes now and this park is great. Even though there were hardly any kids in Kitty Land, every single ride was open. And I'm really not used to that because most parks we visit on low crowd days, they've got half the kitty rides closed. We're taking a dip and dot break now and then we're gonna go ride some more. We found a nice big gift shop, so of course we have to check it out. One unique thing about this park is it's on two sides of the road. And this isn't the first park we've been to that did this, but it is always cool. All right, this one is not a uh, plus size friendly. Oh 
this park has tons of seating. And I love that because so many amusement parks we visit, you have to like fight for a table and it does not look to be the case here. Okay, this is too cool. Look at that ride. They're like wooden clogs. I'm just so amazed by the variety of rides here. There is just something about this pathway surrounded by the old wooden roller coaster. It's everything that theme parks represent, I think. I just love it. And it's peaceful in a weird way. I am choosing not to go into the water because I have 
problems with temperature regulation and it is freezing, but my daughter is having a great time. This water kids area is awesome. Like if I lived locally, I'd probably have a season pass so I could just come let my daughter play here all the time. This park is great. They had a veggie burger, which I usually get when I can because I have trouble eating meat. out. This park is not huge, but it is a great family park. There's tons of kids rides. There's a few roller coasters. They had the roller coaster that was shaped like the roller skate and that was the, and my daughter didn't want to go on them, but they had like a flying boat ride that was shaped like shoes. It is a really unique park. We got there right at 10 and we stayed till Almost 4.30, so a nice long day. We did go into the water park a little bit, even though it was freezing. As far as accessibility goes, it was all right. Uh, the Kentucky Flyer had an elevator and it had really nice staff members, but they had to radio someone, some sort of manager to bring the key to the elevator. And there was not a line today for that ride. So we waited probably about 20 minutes longer than everybody else just because the, none of the ride operators were allowed to use the elevator. So stuff like that really is rough when you're a disabled visitor because you should get the same access as everyone else. Other than that though, it was great. I really like Kentucky Kingdom. It was a great small park. If you're from Northeast Ohio, it kind of reminded me of Jogga Lake and it had an old school wave pole one of those really like rough wave poles my daughter loved it so it was a good day i definitely think it's a park you should check out if you're anywhere in the area all right that is all i have for you today but i do this almost every day so if you want to see more wheelchair travel videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon